Welcome to another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. And on today's episode, we're gonna show you how to put on a wetsuit in 10 easy to follow steps. Now, most of this video will apply for two kinds of wetsuits. We have a full body wetsuit like this, the Zone 3 Vanquish. And there's also another kind of wetsuit, which is called sleeveless, so you don't have the arms. And most of this video will apply to either of those. So whether you're training for a triathlon, an open water swimming race, or the water is really cold where you swim and you wanna wear a wetsuit, this video, we're gonna show you how to put it on step by step. So the first step is what I call the wetsuit preparation. This is before you do anything with the wetsuit, and this involves wearing a swimsuit, correct. You do not wear a wetsuit in your birthday suit, you can. Oftentimes, a male will wear a jammer or cycling shorts or a brief. Female can wear a two-piece or a one-piece. If you're doing triathlon or you plan on doing activity after, you can wear what's called a onesie, which is a suit that you can do the triathlon in, in completeness, and you can have the wetsuit on just for the swim. So step one, make sure you're wearing a suit before you even put on the wetsuit. Also, make sure if you have any problems with chafing, you can apply anti-chafing balm around your neck area so you don't have any resistance. You can also put it around your wrists and your ankles so that you can take it on and off a little bit easier. Also, make sure you're 100% dry. So get a tile, dry yourself off, because the more wet you are and the more moist your skin is, the harder it's gonna be to pull the wetsuit over your body. So once we've taken that care of that, step two is to grab your wetsuit, and most of them will have a zipper in the back. Some will have a Velcro fastener. So what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna undo the Velcro, and you're gonna unzip the suit if it's not already uh, unzipped and then make sure that the zipper is in the back. So a lot of times a beginner triathlete or open water swimmer will actually put the suit on backwards uh, and you'll just, it's no problem, you'll just redo it, you'll look silly, it's fine. But make sure the zipper is in the back and then once you make sure it's, it's facing the right direction, you're actually gonna roll it down so the out, inside is facing out. You're gonna roll it all the way until the bottom of the zipper to where the upper body is rolled out. Now remember, we didn't unroll the arms. The arms are gonna maintain how they are right now. You're just rolling the upper body so that you'll be able to put your feet inside of it a lot easier. And then we'll worry about the upper body next. So we unzip the suit. Now we're gonna start with our feet. So line up the stitching on the suit to make sure, again, the zipper is in the back. It's completely squared up. And then if you have a bag, you're gonna slide one, you're gonna put your foot in a bag, you're gonna slide one foot in at a time of the wetsuit, right? You don't put both feet in at the same time. Put one foot in and then put the next foot in and you're gonna gradually sort of uh, work your way up and pull the suit up very gradually one foot at a time. Um, and make sure you pull up the suit to your thighs and that the, the bottom of the suit is at your calf level, between your calf and your ankle. It shouldn't be over your ankle, that means you need to pull it up more. If you don't pull it up high enough in the beginning, you're not gonna be able to pull it all the way up. So the next step is to pull it up to your waist. So before you pull it over your butt and over your hips, make sure you have enough of the wetsuit material of the legs pulled up into your crotch. So again, you have enough room of fabric to pull it over your upper body. So work out any of the rolls, and it's really important not to have um, too much pressure on your fingers, because that's how you can tear the wetsuit. So important disclaimer, uh, make sure you trim your, your nails. You can also wear gloves. A lot of wetsuits on the higher end, like a premium Vanquish, will actually come with a pair of gloves, so that way you don't puncture anything on your way up, but you can avoid that by just uh, pulling from the inside as much as possible. So once you're up at about the waist area, you're gonna pull it over your hips, step five, pull it over the hips, get it up your butt, and make sure you smooth out the thighs. And smooth out means um, when, you, when you have the wetsuit on, you're gonna have a, a bunch up, bunch up a little bit. And so to eliminate this, you're gonna have to gradually uh, pull it up side by side. So once we've got the wetsuit on over our hips, you're gonna insert your arms one at a time. And similar to the way we did it with the legs, you're gonna make sure you pull it up gradually. And with the arms, you're not gonna be able to pull from the inside anymore because you're gonna put it over your shoulder. And then once one arm is done, you're gonna pull it over the other arm and work your way alternating side to side. So once you have the wetsuit over your body and, and the zipper is remaining uh, unzipped, this is what I call stretch part one. There's two stretches. This is stretch part one. Once the arms are in, you're gonna stretch out, you're gonna Lift your arms up, you're gonna reach for the sky on both sides, and you're gonna to continue to pull up more fabric 
into the shoulder because you want to have really good flexibility with your arms and you don't want to feel constrained. Just because you have the wetsuit on doesn't mean you have it on high enough so that way you have enough flexibility and range of motion in your shoulders. So work your way to smooth out the fabric and when you're stretching, uh, focus on stretching your lower body as well. So you should at this point be able to do a squat and your legs are pretty much taken care of. It's just the upper body we need to finish up. So step eight is to zip it up. So all of these great wetsuits, they have a cord in the back, right? And this cord is relatively long and it's designed so that you can zip the suit up yourself. If you have a friend, they can help you to, uh, continue to pull the suit up with you and they can zip you up. But yeah, you should be able to do this on your own, regardless of your shape and build. Uh, make sure you get a wetsuit that actually fits you. And you can pull it all the way up. Use the cord to pull, to zip it up, and you'll kind of have to reach over, um, grab it from the, from the side, and then reach over and pull it up straight to the sky. You want to get that zipper to go vertical. And then once the zipper is actually zipped, and I'll do it right here, so we have it zipped, it goes all the way up. And then there is actually a position that you can clip on some of the fancier wetsuits. You can actually um, put it right there. And then on the top of the zipper, call it lock it up. So there's a Velcro fastener and make sure, uh, this is something you can do by yourself or you can have someone else do it. Make sure it doesn't overlap so it doesn't rub against your skin. Uh, and make sure it's nice and snug. And then once you've got the wetsuit completely on, you'll start to feel like a superhero. You probably already do putting it on or you're tired. So you feel like a superhero and make sure uh, you're stretched out. So step 10 after you lock it up is to continue stretching and getting your body more comfortable wearing the wetsuit. And this is really important for the upper body to make sure you have that good range of motion. You might still at this point need to pull up the, the, the material a little bit higher into your shoulders. Make sure it's pulled up high on your lats so that way when you're swimming, you don't have any restriction in range of motion, right? So you can jump around, walk, you can do uh, knee hugs, you can do squats. Uh, arm swings, really anything to get the blood flowing, but also to get the, the, the suit really fitted to your body like a glove. It wants to fit like a glove. All right, so some pro tips here, uh, and I mentioned a few of them in step one through 10. So the first one is to take your time, right? It's not a race to get the wetsuit on. Give yourself plenty of time. It takes a lot longer to put it on than it does to take it off. And this is also when it comes to protecting the integrity and lifetime of your wetsuit, don't rush it, right? Uh, you, you just signed up for this race, you spent a lot of money on this wetsuit, you know, there's a range of different prices in your wetsuit, so regardless of how much you spent on the suit, let's preserve it. So there's no race, take your time, um, and then make sure you're trimmed uh, fingernails, so that way you're not really puncturing it with your hands. Um, wear gloves, if it comes with gloves, uh, anything to really lessen the blow in a specific area to, that can puncture and tear the wetsuit. Uh, and make sure you're 100% dry. It's a lot harder to put the wetsuit on when you're wet. And also, uh, when you're dry, it makes it a lot faster and you're less likely to do those punctures if you're dry. Um, and, and it even helps if you're shaved down for that. Um, make sure you, if you want, use a bag to put it on. And you can, this is something you can keep in your swim bag, your tri bag. Just use a bag to put your feet in. It makes putting on uh, the initial footing on right and left leg so much faster. And if you want, use a chair. You can sit on the ground to do this. But again, take your time, don't rush it. Uh, and finally, put it on in the shade. Uh, if you're in an environment that's hot outside and the sun is beating, remember you're wearing, you're putting on a black suit most of the time. Most of the time these are darker colors. Um, I have yet to see a pink wetsuit, but make sure you're putting it on the shade because it does take a little bit of work. And the worst thing is you start to sweat and it makes it even harder because then your body is moist and wet and it's a lot harder to put on the wetsuit. So that was 10 steps on how you can put on a wetsuit. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Shout out to Zone 3. This is the, the Vanquish. Um, this is a premium wetsuit, but regardless of what wetsuit you end up purchasing or that you have, make sure you follow these 10 steps and we'll catch you on the next Whiteboard Wednesday. Happy swimming. Bye.